The one thing that has the power to transform your life is a relationship with Jesus. So welcome to a weekend in my life as I go to a Lecrae and Holvey concert, throw a surprise birthday party, <laughs> and give you practical advice on how to actually grow and cultivate a relationship with Jesus in this new year, 2024. Hello! Guess who's in the house? So back. awkward! Why not? Do you think I'm a violent driver? Nothing happens. <laughs> the way you ask that is like looking for confirmation. Yeah, I don't think that I'm a violent driver. That's my personal opinion. Can be aggressive at times. You know what they, what do I always say? There's forgiveness at the feet of Jesus. Today is a special day. My mother's birthday and my friend's birthday. My bestie's birthday is today. We just finished celebrating my mother's and we are headed down to San Diego to celebrate my friend. It's gonna be a surprise birthday party, so we'll see how this pans out. Let's we'll see if it actually works. Oh my gosh, we have church on Sunday, and then we're going to a Lecrae concert. I forgot about it, I literally. <laughs> and I just wanted to talk about growing in your faith because that's a journey that we will all be on as Christians for the rest of our life. Maybe something I haven't mentioned as much in my other videos in regards to growing in your faith is that it shouldn't be legalistic. I was gonna say it doesn't have to be legalistic. It shouldn't be legalistic. <laughs> or where it shouldn't be is feeling like you have to because the Lord's love for you is dependent on your consistent Bible reading or your consistent prayer routine. That's not how the gospel works, actually. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I mean, I mean, I mean. We should do a grandma. No, we should do that. The beat? The. Da -da. Let's talk more about growing in your faith as we prepare for the surprise birthday party. As I've spoken about legalism before, it is a very easy trap to fall into as you're growing in your relationship with Jesus. And I know it personally, but Paul really nails it on the head. It's in Galatians chapter 3, verse 2, and he calls the Galatians foolish. He's very passionate about this. And he says, let me ask you this one question. It's a rhetorical one, of course. And he says, did you receive the Holy Spirit by obeying the law of Moses? Of course not. You received the Spirit because you believed the message you heard about Christ. Verse 3, how foolish can you be? After starting your new lives in the spirit, why are you now trying to become perfect by your own human effort? Have you experienced so much for nothing? Surely it wasn't in vain, was it? And so what I take away from this is just to remember the simple gospel, that your salvation comes from faith in Christ Jesus and not your works. And as you grow in your faith, it's so easy to allow legalism to creep in, believing the lie that the Lord loves you more because of the things that you do for him. But going back to the simple truth that your righteousness and redemption comes from Christ Jesus alone is what will ground you. And there's nothing you could do to take that away no matter what you've done and no matter how far you've gone. Oh this yeah, I am. Mr. from DC? Wow. Right in San Diego. Did it hurt? That cold. Well, happy birthday, Hase. Thank you for getting me through everything from last year at ASB with all the troublesome people. And, you know, yeah, keeping me low. Well, Stay in your room. Where at? Okay. Well, you made it, Hase. You made it. I love you so much. Happy oh. birthday. And we are all blessed to have you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> We are so happy that you are in our lives and we are so thankful. Happy birthday, we love you. <laughs> 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 Besides the moon, what's another? I'm taking up.
Thank you so much. I love you guys so much. So after the fun and celebration was over, I sat my two best friends down, Lydia and Hase, and I asked for their advice on how to grow in your relationship with God. One piece of advice that I would have would be just simply to talk to God. I think sometimes we don't realize that we can literally talk to him as a friend and we can talk to him whenever and we can be authentic, we can be honest with him. And I really do think like your walk with Christ just begins with a prayer. It begins with a talk and it really begins with telling him like, this is where I'm at right now. This is what I'm dealing with. This is what I need help with. This is where I wanna be and expressing that to God, it shows God that you even have the desire, you know? Something that I've been learning personally is like, God gives me the strength to do mm -hmm. what it is that I wanna do and like what he's even set out for me to do. Honestly, like actually one very big way that this is like played out for me this week is like getting up early in the morning mm -hmm. and actually doing the things that I wanna do, like getting up and going on a run and then coming back and opening the word and journaling and spending time with God and asking him to uncover like, things in my life that I need healing, areas that I need healing in that I didn't even know mm -hmm. I needed healing in. And like that quality time with God when you just allow him to take the lead, like basically letting go and being practical about like setting aside time to spend with him honestly has been so, so rewarding and just so like healing and just so good for me. It's honestly just taking it one day at a time. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to just be like, oh, like I did my devotional today. Like I'm like on a roll. Mm -hmm. The next day you're like, oh, I didn't do my devotional. Just taking it one day at a time. You know, we all fall short of the glory of God and it's so easy to just get caught up. It's daily battles here. Mm -hmm. for us. <laughs> Genuinely. And so like just take it one day at a time. God has got you. He is your strength and he will guide you through everything. Good <laughs> Next day was Sunday, so I got up and got ready, made the bed, and spent time with God. Let me share what I read. I was flipping through Monday's Bible because my Bible's in the car. I already saw 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18 highlighted, and it stood out to me. And I feel like this verse is really ties into growing in your faith. So it says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I think it's a beautiful verse to meditate on and just to remind you and to remind ourselves what God's will is for us at the end of the day. It tells us here that it's so simple, so we don't have to overcomplicate it. And so growing in faith doesn't have to be complicated at all. And I think it's a good way of assessing as a Christian. Have I been rejoicing always? Have I been praying continually, have I been giving thanks to God in the midst of everything? And what I love is in verse 23 and 24, it says, may God himself, the God of peace. So it already characterizes who God is. He's a God of peace. Sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. It shows that the sanctifying of our souls, our body being kept blameless before the Lord, it's God himself who does that. Just know that growing in your faith, it's the Lord who sanctifies you. It's not all on your works. Something I do a lot of times is asking God, help me cherish your word. Help me open my eyes and see the beauty in your word. Because a lot of times being human, having our flesh, we just don't see it. We just see it as a book or as a task that we just have to get over with in the day for the Lord to be pleased with us. But one thing I just wanna say is that it's not the way that we should view the Lord. If you wanna have a relationship with someone, both people mutually want to spend time with one another and not out of fear, not out of fear of hell. God is a God of love and we could trust him and the fact that he is the God of peace, the fact that he is faithful in our lives and he is the one to keep us blameless before himself at the end of time. So let's have a great rest of our Sunday. So after I got ready to leave, I went to my parents' friend's house for breakfast, then headed over to church, enjoyed the service, then my friends and I headed over to Starbucks to kill some time before the concert. They were catching up on work and I decided to journal. After church, kava, Starbucks to mm -hmm. study. I got some work done. I read my Bible and journal. We're at this beautiful park where the sun is setting um, before the concert starts. And honestly, we're just doing a walk for our um, sanity. Uh, <laughs> just to enjoy peace and fresh air. You could do anything to the glory of God. Um, one thing that I do on campus a lot is doing walks, prayer walks, just walk and talk to God, or just walk and listen to music, or just walk and breathe, and it helps.
it helps a lot. So, hey guys, hey, hey. hey guys, hey, hi vlog. You're ready? Yes. You wanna? So you guys, out of one to ten, how ready are we for this concert? <laughs> I'm a ten. Woo! I'm ready. I'm gonna be the most hyped person in here, bro. I'm gonna be hot. I'm gonna be screaming. Look who! Hey guys, it's Frog Remessa here with you guys today. We have TT on the side. So we got our whole, actually our whole family here. <laughs> My one take on how to um, grow in your faith, find faithful friends. Our friends, you're gonna be with day one. You know, like even if it's not day one, find your friends, find the people who are gonna be with you, your family essentially. You know, these people, um, and especially in the church, you know, they're going to love you forever. So, uh, yeah, this is my family. I don't even think of them as friends anymore, you know. It's just like, it's just my people. Better time. Better too, better too. I can love like that.